Hello and welcome back <laughs> uh, to the Challenger training tank build. I'm going to concentrate just on this uh, for this video. Uh, basically what I've done so far is I've added some decals because I've it's been sprayed with a um, gloss varnish. So I've added the decals, uh, as you can see some of them. I've added the fire extinguishers and the decals on the fire extinguishers. I will take some pictures for a slideshow at the end. I made up the number plate out of uh, all the number plates I have. So if you can see the number plate, same with the back. And to uh, put some back stuff on. Like I said, I'll take some pictures. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on this one because I uh, want to get something finished. And um, I'm currently working on about three or four projects. Um, this this challenger. The other challenger and the centurion and the centurion trailer um i want to try and get some stuff finished <laughs> so uh, what i'm going to be doing first off is uh, just making all these bits that i cut away uh, look rusty and be doing some chipping so i'll we'll start off with we'll get a base coat on there so i'm doing all this uh, before i paint before i spray a matte varnish over everything Okay, so I'll stop the video there and I'll just carry on with this uh, and then I'll we'll apply the other, all the other colours for the rust. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of chipping, not going too crazy with it. This is like a greeny grey, or greyy green, interior green. Dab it off the wood with a cotton wool bud. So, as you can see, I've already been doing in some places already. And it's just a case of going over it bit by bit. And then uh, what I do is I go over those tiny little a little bit of a rust in places. Okay, so moving on to the next stage. As you can see, I've uh, done some other little bits and pieces. I've painted some. Uh, I painted the fuel caps yellow and sort of worn them down a bit. But before I can do any more sort of weathering on the top part of the hole, I want to weather the whole of the bottom half of the hole. Now, because I want to do the base and attach it to the base and then weather the top half. Now how I'm going to do this is with a old lollipop stick, Vallejo thick mud. I have got an old paint brush as well I can use, but basically if this hasn't gone too, it's just slip it on. And also that that way it also fills all the gaps.
well before I do any more uh, dirtying up in the back here I need to attach these spare tracks which are the metal tracks this left over the extra bit sort of thing so basically what I'm going to do and I've got some new glue <laughs> I'm also going to glue this, this bar on. And then, using this cracked earth effect, which looks like it needs mixing up a bit. Okay, now I'm dating up the wheels. I'm using some uh, wash. It's a uh, rain marks effects on the wheels here. I'm also going to go over them with a this dust wash. Now you might see already that the two different types of paint are affecting each other, which is kind of the effect I want. Okay, so now I'm adding a damp earth wash. Just uh, like these dabbing it in places, sometimes putting a big heavy grip like that. And going with the fluffy going with the fluffy paintbrush you can Cracked earth uh, is coming out now, it's looking really good. next effect I add is the AKA Interactive Fresh Mud effect. 
No, I'm not going to put too much of this on here because. Well, you're not going to see the underneath anyway. But, uh, it's a good little place to demonstrate what you can do with this stuff. But where I'm mainly adding it is at the back here. I know, it all seems to be places where you're not going to see it. But you'd be surprised how effective it looks when it's all complete. Now with an old toothbrush, just a case of uh, and with this uh, raindrop, what's it called again? Rain marks effect. Okay, I'll just try and show you. Now I'm just adding the um, adding some engine grime, but like like grease and stuff like that. Sort of oily, oily substance, substance, substance. <laughs> That's just the case of putting the wheels on. I've selected which wheels I want to go where, and I have put a little bit of this grease on each of the sponsons just so they go on a bit easier. Maybe a bit too easy. <laughs> Now I think I'm going to leave the two sponsors at the front off for a minute because uh, I've got to get the track on. Let's work out the best way to do this. Okay, let me just figure this out. <laughs> well, I think I figured it out, but now I'll switch the camera on it, it'll probably go all wrong. All right. So. Let's 
he says. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna pull this off. Just so I can thread the track through. Drill through. Like so, until that's way through. Grab a pin. <laughs> okay so I've just been working on the base and uh, just trying it out I've done used some uh, asphalt or tarmac as we call it in the UK base uh, I've just been dirting it dirting out the base ready for uh, the training tank to attach and uh, I was sitting there thinking, because I haven't screwed this down yet, but realistically I don't really want to attach this part at all, because I'm going to be uh, screwing this to the base and I want to be able to unscrew it if I need to. So I quite with a genius idea, I attached, drilled some holes in the bottom of this and attached some magnets there and there, and a magnet there and there, because I had these little magnets laying around and I've glued the magnets on this side so now these two, these two click together and magnetise so now that's not going to fall off so say so that ain't going to fall off at all but I haven't attached the challenge yet so I'm not doing a full flip <laughs> so uh, yeah I've just thought I'd pause uh, what I'm doing um, I didn't record uh, making the base so uh, I haven't recorded uh, doing these figures either. I'm trying to move this to the side. Doing these figures because I want to use this figure on the vehicle. Uh, basically standing at the back here. So, yeah, there's a few more bits I've got to do. Um, uh, I've attached uh, where the window wipers are going to be going because I'm going to be giving this a small coat, a small brush, airbrush, like just a, probably a single spray each side to give it a bit of a dusty mist over it. Um, and then I'll remove all the transfers and then um, do the oil stains and so on in here. Um, so yeah, I will crack on and do that. Okay, now I'm just going to add some fuel stones. Don't know if you can see that. <laughs>
and I'm gonna add some uh, fresh angel oil. Okay, so that pretty much brings us to the end of this video and also the Challenger 1 training tank because it's completed basically. I do have a figure to add, I need to paint him and, and uh, tidy him up a bit and basically he looks like that one. And kind of wanting to stand at the back here, either that way around, that way around. Um, as you can see I added some footprints, I've made the the, uh, the roads, the tarmac slightly more bashed up and dirty. Um, and it's not come out quite right, but it looks alright come out where I wanted but it looks all right what I mean. Um, so what I'll do I'll we'll take some pictures and make a little gallery at the end of the video. Okay bye for now see you next time